All right, everyone, I am in rural Oklahoma. Let me show you where. Uh, you can see the blue dot there, southeast of Oklahoma City. Kind of a quiet corner of the state. No interstates anywhere in the vicinity. Uh, the towns I'm about to show you are very poor. Um, I'm just wondering if they are as poor as what the numbers suggest or is it just a super low cost of living? We're going to find out. Uh, this is the town of Clayton. Um, right now there are 639 people in the town. I've done a quick drive through. It looks bigger than that. It looks a lot bigger than 639 people, but uh, that's what the U.S. Census says are here right now. Peak population was 1980. There were 833 people here. So the town's lost about 200 people over the past 40 years. Um, I'm going to head out into the main street right now, show you downtown, and I'll tell you some more. Um, The median home value here, by the way, is 48200 I mean, that is so low. That's not much more than this the car driving, this Bronco. So I'm going to go out on a street or two just real quick, see what the uh, some of the homes look like. Poverty level here is 27.7. Uh, a breakdown of that is this. Uh, children 17 and under, uh, they are 32 percent, or they their poverty rate is 32 percent, so it is a high poverty rate for kids. Um, 65 and over, it's 16 percent. Okay, I've turned around. I'm going to take another pass into downtown. It is a Monday, by the way, about 1.30 in the afternoon. So I tell you what, I'm just going to turn here. Should hit some uh, residential this way, or maybe not. Looks like a school. All right, I've managed to drive into residential. Uh, this one. Seen better days, that's for sure. Pretty sure no one is living there. I'm going to guess they're not. Uh, anyway, so now that I'm here, I'll tell you some more. Per capita income here is $18,734 a year. That comes out to $360 a week. And wow, the street dead ends. All right, I'm finally back out on another residential area. Of course, a town this size is not gonna have a lot of streets. Um, wow, I see a lot of this though. That's like a flea market. That's somebody's house, but it can almost be a flea market. And then there's a trailer, or that's not a trailer. Yeah, it is a trailer. No, that's just like a shed. It looks like somebody's living in. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, another number here. Median household income, 24,700. So just shy of $25,000 a year is the median household income. Keep in mind, that's everybody that lives in a home 15 years and up who is earning income. That's one of the lowest I've ever seen. Uh, that comes out to $475 a week median household income. This is pretty representative of what you see in the town. So. I think I've shown you guys everything you need to see. So I'm going to head to the next town now. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like something burned down. Look, you can see an oven in there. There's the cat. You guys see it? Good, I've got the cat already. Well, I'll admit I've never seen a home that looks like this one. Looks like a shotgun house. Beware of dog. 
interesting. A lot of stuff out there. Uh, this is the town of Albion. I didn't run numbers for it. I, I didn't even know it existed. Uh, I guess you would call this downtown. Right? Downtown Albion, I'm thinking. Wow. And there's a few cars here. Oh, look at here. Building disintegrating there. Wow. This is where you really see <laughs> the abandonment of small town America. Look at this. Is that a gas station? Can't really tell. That's something. And yeah, just see all kinds of places disintegrating here. Yeah, they got a church though, it's in good shape. Albion Baptist Church. How about that? Entering the town of Talahina. This was founded as a railroad town, and in fact, the word Talahina is Choctaw Indian for railroad. Population of the town is 893. Peak population was 1980. There's 1,387 people here then, so it's lost quite a few people in that period of time. Poverty rate is really high here. 36.7%. The poverty rate for children 17 and under in this town is 44%. That is high. Almost half the children that live in this town live at or below the poverty, uh, poverty level. Not much better for seniors, 65 and older, 35%. Um, per capita income, 17600 That comes out to $338 a week. So that's what the per capita income weekly is. Can't live on that, I'm thinking. But maybe you can here. I don't know, cost of living is probably really low. I mean, it'd have to be. Median household income, 28,900. That uh, comes out to $556 a week. So now that I've went through downtown, I'm gonna go check out a neighborhood real quick. All right, I'm uh, in a neighborhood about a block off the main street. The uh, median home value here is 52,900. That's pretty low. But uh, you see a beautiful house here and there. Here's one right here. In the town. I'm gonna take a look around a bit. Yeah, this guy, he just uh, he acts like he owns the place, doesn't he? <laughs> I think he wants to be uh, petted. Yeah, oh God, he got, he's chasing the car. <laughs> Oh, oh, by the Chase, way, uh, the, the wife is here. Sorry, I didn't want you to run him over. I'm not running him over. You can talk, honey. She's been quiet. Wow. No trespass. Well, you know, the dog's barking. He's doing his job. I know. I was just afraid he was really close. I didn't want you to, like, get one of his oh, legs don't. up under the tire or something. He wasn't going to get run over. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh... Can't run a dog over on camera, honey. <laughs> that would not be good, would it? <laughs> Pita uh, all up in your business. I'm pretty sure that is abandoned there. That hasn't been mown 
the yard, you know, hasn't been mowed. Let me use the right word in quite a while. Look at that grass. A little small it house here. It grows really quickly. It probably didn't take it long to grow. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah. I was going to say that this one was empty, but there's cars in front of it. You think anybody lives there? Mm, it's just hard to imagine, but there's cars in front. It's hard to tell. You don't see any trash cans or anything. Yeah, but there's cars there. Huh. Well, all right. Uh, we just wanted to take a quick look. I'm uh, going to head to the next town. Okay, I've just arrived at the town of Red Oak. This is the city center. Population 569. Peak population was 1980. There were 676 people then. So the town has held its population pretty well. Welcome to Red Oak. Uh, poverty level is a little better here. 23.8%. Children 17 and under, the poverty rate is 25%. Uh, older folks, 65 and older, it's 28%. Median age is 37 years old. Per capita income, 16,500, so what does that come out to weekly? $317 a week. Red Oak Public School. Uh, yeah, this school is kind of beautiful. Look at this building. Uh, looks like they all go, all the grades will go here. There's the high school, it says. That's really nice. Uh, let's see, median household income is $31,920. Weekly, that's $614. So $614 a week, median household. Hmm. Let's see, I'm going to head into a neighborhood. See what the homes look like. Let's take a look at this one here. This is a very old house, you can tell. Uh, let's see, median home value here, or the median home value here is uh, 62900 So it's a little bit higher than the last two. For the most part, uh, the neighborhood looks pretty good, doesn't it? What do you think, hon? Yeah, it definitely looks better than the last place. <laughs> uh, yeah. Quite a few newer, more modern homes here in this little town. They have purple trash cans. Oh yeah, they have, well, yeah, you're right, look at that. I want a purple trash can. You want a purple trash can? Well, I mean, if I had to have a trash can like that, I want it to be purple. Oh, because that's your favorite color, right? Uh -huh. Oh, look here. Well, there Not you go. Not for rent. <laughs> yeah, they're making sure you know it. That's a cool looking house though. I mean, it needs to be fixed up. But um, it's really old. I mean, that house is probably 100 years old. Interesting. Now, let's see what else is here. Now, these trash cans, they have Town of Red Oak stamped on the side. You'd think if they wanted to make them a crazy color, they would make them red. That, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, you but think? I really like the purple anyways. So. I like the purple too, but red would make more sense, so given the name of the town. So it would. Town of Red Oak. How about that? <laughs> Very quiet town. Uh, it's about 3 in the afternoon on this Monday.
pretty nice looking town though. I like this uh, town. Well, we've seen enough here, I'm thinking. So uh, we're gonna head to the next town. Well, we are approaching Wilburton. Looks like the uh, city center is right up ahead. Uh, population right now, 2,786. Peak population was in 1990, not long ago, 3,092. Hasn't really lost a lot of population. Poverty level is better too, 22.6%. For children 17 and under, it's 28%, which is still high, but better than the last towns. Older folks, 65 and over, uh, over it's 25%. Per capita income is 24900 so that is $479 a week. Median household income is 37800 that's $727 a week. So all those numbers are improving as we head this direction, which is basically towards Oklahoma City. Median age here is 30.5. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a bigger town. A lot more infrastructure here. Pretty big downtown, huh? Yeah, definitely. Lots of stuff going on here. There's a dispensary. Want to go in and get us some weed? I think it has to be medical <laughs> in Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, downtown, it's got cars in it. There's people here. It's not some uh, abandoned downtown. I want to uh, take a turn here in a second. We'll check out a neighborhood or two real quick. Hmm. Well, I think I'll turn. Uh, we'll just turn right here. Or right up here, yeah. Oh, there's a McDonald's and a Dollar General. <laughs> Well, I guess if you got those two things, you got all that you need, right? <laughs> yep. Am I right or not? Yeah, That's absolutely. what I'm thinking. Absolutely. Looks like we got a neighborhood here. No, I would think more like a, a McDonald's and a Walmart. Well, yeah, Walmart too. So we're just about a block off the main street here. See what the, the homes look like. Not bad, to be honest. Looks pretty good. Oh, I like that one. Look at that huge carport. And all the rock on the porch for the posts. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's head up this way. Always somebody with a ton of stuff in the yard. Honestly, I wonder what the neighbors think about that. I'm sure they don't love it. Love this brick or uh, rock house here, though. That kind of house will last forever. It's big too. Wow! When you get on the other side here, look at all that. Yeah. It's a lot to it. A nice brick modern house here, brick one. Look, another rock house up here. It's big too. Wow. It's got a separate garage. Looks like a. A floor above it so you could have a little apartment up there it looks like that's a great house hmm. and this one I like this too and then basically we're up here on the edge of town already it looks like all right uh, well I've seen everything here uh, what I've shown you is pretty representative of the neighborhoods mostly pretty nice Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to head to the next town now. We're driving into the town of Hartshorn. I think that's how it's pronounced. I looked it up. It looks like Hartshorn, but I believe it's pronounced Hartshorn. If I'm wrong, somebody will straighten me out, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, right now, the population is 1,711. Peak population was in 1930. 
3,587 people then. So it's lost about half its population over 92 years. It's quite a long time. Uh, poverty here is even better. It's the best of these towns. Uh, it's 20%. For kids 17 and under, it's 26%. And for older folks, 65 and over, it's 9%. I think that's the lowest of, a, of these five towns. For the uh, older people, the uh, per capita income here is 25000 a year. That's $481 a week. And the median household income, $36,400. That's uh, $700 a week even. Median age here is 42.8, so this is an older town. Uh, it was founded as a coal mining town long ago. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll take a cruise through downtown here. Well, that's why the resident, the number of residents has has uh, gone down drastically. Huh? That's why the number of residents has gone down drastically because it was a coal mining town. I'm sure that's why. Yeah, there's just not much coal mining going on around here. I don't think anymore. Definitely some infrastructure left though from a town of 3,500. Uh, you don't usually see this much for a town of 1,700. Quite a few old buildings here. A few cars downtown, though. Uh, it's not uh, completely empty downtown. You see some traffic. Looks like they've got uh, an old theater here, which I always really like. Uh, Liberty Theater. Elvis Christmas. Well, it's open and uh, operating too. Now that I like to see. Anyway, uh, let's see, I'm going to make a left-hand turn here. Let's check out the neighborhoods, or let's check out a neighborhood. Median home values here, or medi the median home value here is 71,200. I think that one's empty. See the car back there? Yeah, I don't think that one's worth that much. <laughs> It doesn't look like it. Right next door, though, the house is really nice. Mm -hmm. A little small house, but it's, yeah, it's a real cute little house. Mm -hmm. I like that. Wow, that one's really small. I mean, that's that's very small. That's definitely a shotgun house. Yeah, it looks like, a, <laughs> almost just looks like a shed, doesn't it? Yeah. But there's some nice homes over here. Some 70 styles ranch homes. It's really nice. So, yeah, uh, let's see, one street off downtown, looks pretty nice, the neighborhood. Now let's check out uh, another street or two. That's a really big house there. Uh, not in good condition though. I hate to see that. Huh? Well, it's lived in. Boy, some TLC, that would be an unreal home. Really beautiful. A lot of TLC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it needs a little bit of work. Looks like they have a little shed on the property, too. Hmm. Yeah, we're kind of driving right back into downtown here. You know what this is? is it a church. <laughs> the building is kind of fantastic. I mean, could be. Mm -hmm. And? River of Life Fellowship. Huh. Yeah, so it's a church, I guess. Huh? I guess it's a church. Is that what that is? I don't know, it says fellowship. Yeah, that would make sense. We got a couple trailers here. Right you're next to, to it. You no, know you're not allowed to open my window. <laughs> uh, got a big green area here. Now I'm on one block off Main. I guess this is a park. Big yards. You see that a lot in these small towns. You never get a yard this big without paying big money in cities like Dallas, where we live.
Like, get away. Oh, somebody I can bark at. Cool. It's a big yard. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of room to run around, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know what they're burning there. Huh. Look at all this water. It's like a swamp. Yeah, ew. Huh. It's gross. Yeah. Well, it just makes you think that like, when the weather gets warmer, there'll be a bunch of mosquitoes around it. There's another cat. There's That's... three cats. Ha ha! Three cats on this video. Plus the one I saw earlier, but I don't know if you could see that one well. You could definitely see those, though. So, yay, got the cat. Now, what's up this way? Always like seeing homes with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Holy well, cow! Well, not in your neighborhood. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff. Look at all that. Oh, Holy cow! That's a lot of crap. It's a lot of crap. Hey, man! One one man's trash is another man's treasure. Uh, not that treasure. This is almost a flea market. It's got a tractor in there. Got a duck right there, or a swan. Big frog right there. Ah, that is just a tremendous amount of stuff. Holy cow. <laughs> That's nuts. Huh. Wow. Well, you can definitely see that the town has lost some population. Wonder what happened here? Did that catch on fire? Yeah, there used to be like a house or something there too. Anyway, yeah, there's quite a few empty homes here and there. Like I think this one's empty. Yeah. Nature's trying to take that one back. Oh. And you got another one right here. That house is really old. That's 100 years old. That's interesting. You got a trailer there, a mobile home, and then a huge addition to it. It's all painted the same color. How about that? Hmm. All right, everyone. So that's the end of this video. Uh, we're going to head into Texas, East Texas, first. After this, for a few days, then we're going to shoot way out east into eastern Alabama and into Georgia and South Carolina, maybe even North Carolina. So that's what's going to happen uh, January, for the month of January. So be looking for that.